Hi everybody, we are about to start part two of our submarine rescue. Um, if you'll remember, let me get my list up here and make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, in part one, we did our basic recon and found the submarine and uh, we checked and saw that the operator was still on board using scuba uh, since the sub had filled with water. And uh, now we're going to go after her using a modified Sentinel cutter that you see behind me, uh, Sentinel class cutter. Um, it has a decompression chamber in it, helipad, in a, with a resing system and, uh, and things like that. So uh, we're going to get started and I'm going to get all my HUDs on and uh, we're going to get aboard the cutter and let's see what happens. Okay, we are ready to go. We're aboard the cutter. I've got it started, so let's get going. It's not too far out to the, to the rescue site. We should be there in just a few minutes. This is also a good place for me to say as much as watching a submarine rescue, this is about uh, the weaknesses or insufficiencies, as one might say, of Second Life. There's just certain things you can do and certain things you can't do. It is a digital world. Um, for examples, you're going to see me uh, place an explosive on top of a submarine escape hatch. Well, we had trouble with that because the explosive is physical. It has to be physical and it kept falling off the submarine. And so you have to work around things like that. We fixed it so that it'll stay, but this, this just to let you know that things can get a bit troublesome at times. All right, we are coming up on the rescue uh, spot now, uh, or close to it. I have to just make one turn here, and we'll we'll be there. Um, looking at my mini map, I see that there's someone else involved here that I wasn't expecting, but hopefully it won't be a griefer or something. <clears throat> and I'll get myself in position, uh, in a good position to set the explosives. I don't want to put the, the, uh, sentinel class cutter right on top of where we're going to blow the hatch so uh, let me bring my throttle back a little bit here and get my reverse just long enough to get stopped Okay, and I am going to go put on my dive gear so that I can get down and do the job. And so, excuse me for just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my clothes changed. And so, it's time for me to get into the water. Okay. Now let's let's see what we can find here. Yeah, there's two submarines here. I gotta find which one I, I'm after. Okay. I 
Now, here's, here is my target sub. And let me just ease right up here and place the charge. There's the charge, and when it blows, it's going to blow that hatch, and then she'll have a few, she'll have a minute or so to get, to get surfaced and into, uh, into the rescue sub that will be placed right over, and uh, we'll pick that up in the next part. So, stay tuned.